What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. We're looking at Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. What is going on? What happened yesterday? So of course, there were some levels we said we want to hold. There were some patterns we said that might play out. So let's start with the pattern and then go to the level that we said must hold. So first of all, we had this head and shoulders pattern. It didn't look as clear on the four hour with the right shoulder. And when we went to the one hour, it was a bit clearer with the right shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder neckline go back to the four hour quickly our technical target was down here at this 0382 now the level that we said we want to hold even though this was our target down here is this golden bucket which i gave you in yesterday's video the 050 to the 0618 as long as you're above the 0618 and can confirm it as support so when you broke out here we said now the 1618 is valid 46k when you broke out here and you started heading up when we got above the emas got rejected and fell below and right here is where we made the video yesterday i said now from here because you now are printing a shooting start at resistance basically meaning that this move to the upside was a fake out this means that we should carry on and continue to the downside put in lower lows why because you're under the emas you're above them bullish went back below bearish bearish means lower lows lower highs downtrend so we should have got that we should have gone lower than this low and this low and this is why i was saying that technically as long as you're above this low over here and we should we have chances of actually going up even if you do lose that 0618 golden pocket the 050 but you never even lost it you didn't even meet your technical target we know with any pattern patterns can get invalidated and this is what i say when we call out the pattern so even though this was its target down here the bull stepped in at the 0618 as well as this smaller 1.272 but the larger 0618 050 golden pocket it stepped up the bull stepped in from here key level of support and you've put in a bullish engulfing you did have a bearish engulfing but then invalidated by this bullish engulfing with that you got back above the 20 but stopped at the 55 got rejected a couple times doji shooting star so with that shooting star is telling us we want to go down but then you came down to this short term support the 20 ma and printed a bullish hammer over here so it's but a lot of market manipulation, a lot of indecision in the market at the moment. No one can really decide what is going on because you had bearish engulfing setting us down. You had further bearish engulfing not panning out, bullish engulfing, then printing a higher low. On that higher low, you had a bearish candlestick pattern. But straight after the bearish candlestick pattern, you printed a bullish one. And then now after this bullish one, you have another bullish one if it printed as is, spinning top. So we're basically ranging, as you can see, between the EMAs. But what one thing that we must note is that we are below that 55 our double brick wall oh, i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh my gosh sorry guys oh, i couldn't stop that but yeah we have to know that we're still below this technically speaking this is your 618 you did lose it creating that reverse wave what should have happened here is you've come up come down hold that 618 before continuation you lost it came to the one lost it so your target is now the 1618 we come to the 1.272, got above the 1, and if you can confirm support on or above the 1, then you've invalidated further downside. And that's what we've done at the moment because you've invalidated the technical target because this is your neckline as well as it being the 1. So two reasons why your target, this target and this target is now invalidated. So what's next? Now we must break above the 618 over here, 43,000. So be honest, guys, remember the high we were talking about earlier on, even before we broke this green line, we said that this might be an area that we've run into. And basically, that's what we're doing right now. After the fake out, you come back down, retested it, come back, retested it, come back, and we're trying to break it. So for me, this is the most key level. Yes, we're above the 0618, and we should go to the 1618 up here at 46 point 2k but i think that we do need to break this resistance first to get excited so because until then we can roll over put in lower lows put in lower lows again and obviously continue down so this is one thing that we need to watch out for i do like how you have broken out of this resistance you have back tested this support unlike here you broke out fake out broke out fake out so this resistance point is this um falling wedge technical target up at 51k so if we can hold that as support then we're good for continuation there i do like how we have a wick support there we have some support the 20 yeah and you're holding that fib level very nicely so yeah once we've retraced above this 
and this uh, basically the one over here once you're above 43.6k i'm going to start getting excited why let me get rid of this fib now so because as you can see we're heading up here It'd just be confirmation statement if you can get above this white box we're 100 percent going up because there's that risk still you've come down correcting before continuation down so i'm going to basically draw the fibs now from the swing high to the swing low we've had a dip how do we know the dip's done you start coming up of course if it's not done then you'll start rolling over i can give you technical targets to the downside in a second but if this 382 can hold and we can get above the 618 look at that for confluence this green line was already here from maybe three days ago and we said that when we do come up we might run into this and get rejected and that's what we've done we um come up to the line got reject we had a little fake out got rejected back tested as resistance but fell to key support. Now, if we can break this resistance, which is lining up the 618 and the one, then we will start heading up to our 1618 target, the smaller one, lining up with our larger one. So everything's telling us that we want to go to 46K. Bearing in mind, this resistance can be broken, 43.6.5K. So until then, until you break this key resistance, let's just draw that level out for you, that, that. Until you break that, there's that risk that we do roll over from here. And how do we measure this? So obviously you've come down impulsively, potentially correcting. If you break that, you've created a reversal wave. But if you do get rejected here, we will roll over and we would measure from our swing low to our swing high over here. And of course, if you were to then lose the 0618, 42,400, we would roll over to the one. You can bounce from here, of course, form a large double bottom. But if you were to lose the one, your target is the 1618 down here, 47, 40K, so sorry. And that would be in line with this low down here. So I can even draw that out for you now, just like that. So this is the level we must hold. This is the level we must break, basically. As long as we're above this, then we're good for continuation upwards, even if we roll over all the way down to there. As long as that holds, we've got a chance to, to keep going up, basically, because this is our lowest low. Any low above this low is a higher low, and so that is an uptrend, basically. So it's all looking good for continuation. Worst case, we're coming down to, obviously, break back below this head and shoulders neckline, validates the pattern again. 0382 slash the 1414, 41K target. A little wick down to the 1618, 40,700. 40, Closing above this high, we would still be good for continuation, even if this bearish scenario plays out perfect guys please smash the like button subscribe we're trying to get the channel to 1.5k subscribers by the end of this month comment are we going to go down or go up or any comments that you have in the comment section below please turn on the notification bells and follow me on my twitter louis underscore crypto i'll catch you guys over there and peace